my son's daughter, it affected her. It affected my son's niece. She lives way in Florida. He has nephews in Ohio. All these people are affected by what has happened to my son. I took pictures of my mother's funeral from the parking lot, walking up to the door of the funeral home. He wasn't there to see it or be a part of it, and it was important for me that he, whenever his heart was able to do it, he could see, you know, all the people that turned out and loved my mom. My nephew, he got killed in 2012. So, just recently, he got killed. And it also happened in the same neighborhood where the incident happened with the ride, actually, right around the corner. Um, the same area that we all grew up in because they still lived it. My, my sister still lived in that neighborhood. son in a shirt and tie and a suit, you know? I like to see him be able to have children and do good in life, you know, change it, turn it all around. I, I mean, I, I see it. It happens every day, you know. Guys come out of prison, they turn their lives around, they do something great for the, for the world, for the community, for society. You should be punished for what you do, but to have me to suffer my punishment for my entire life as a reminder of what I did, you know. I think that's like wrong, a moral wrong. When you give them a life sentence, they can't even imagine what that means. But the family, the parents, their siblings, the neighborhood, this human life, that has just began to develop, you've taken it and said there's no chance for you in this world. 